So, another key theme of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde is the theme of mystery. So what would we say in response to an essay question on that? So just like normal, I've got four key points I want to make and I've colour coded my analysis so you can see where it hits the mark scheme. So, how does Stevenson present the theme of mystery? Stevenson is showing that mystery drives our society, so as long as there's duality, there will be mystery. But mystery is also a product of our limited lifestyle. If we choose to follow society's rules, like Lanyon and Nutterson, there will always be mysteries to life that we choose not to understand. We have to break free from those limits to be able to understand the mysteries of life. So, there's four points I need to make in response to this, quick, this theme. First of all, mystery of the door. It looks ugly, but it is never understood. So and the quote for that is sordid negligence. Then we've got the mystery of Hyde, but we can explain this mystery looking at science and society. Then we've got the mystery of duality. We cover our true selves and keep it a mystery to others. And then finally, we've got the mystery of society as a whole. The rules we accept and follow are dying, yet we desire this. So what really should society be? What are we striving for in our society? And that remains a mystery to us today. So, paragraph one, I've got sordid negligence. So, at the mystery of the door, it's dark and abandoned, the colourful, lively street. Hyde's door, like him, doesn't fit in with the rest of society. Both are mysterious to us. And like Hyde, it's judged as unpleasant and out of place. But no one opens the door to understand the reasons behind it. No one tries to unravel the mystery that is Hyde. No one understands he's a result of addiction and science and actually resides in this all. This reflective our society chooses to ignore rather than understand the mysteries of our life. Now the adjective sordid here connotes to the immoral activity, which reflects the actions of Hyde, but also the actions of society in suggesting he is an outcast, when in reality his, his, his instinctive passion lies in us. We just don't understand ourselves. We are a mystery to ourselves. But then we've also got the adjective negligence. So the door and Hyde have been abandoned by society and left to rot. There's a mystery. We judge Hyde as evil, but we are not pious ourselves. We are not exactly perfect examples of how life should be either. Then I've got the quote, Ape Like Fury. So here Hyde is the mystery of the whole novel. He's the one who's been investigated, the one they can't work out. But we can understand him if we look at if we look at the reasons behind it, if we look at his anger and if we look at Darwinism. So there is mystery to his actions. He attacks a vulnerable elderly man. That's quite mysterious why you would do that. That shows that you've got no empathy and you've got no morals. Carew is an MP who makes the laws and limits of our society. Therefore, Hyde's violence is an attack on all society. That's quite mysterious. Why would you do that? And the fact he's an ape, this animalistic imagery implies he's not befitting human respect and dignity. So who is he if he's not classed as a human? However, his fury is restrictions and order of society suggests that society is to blame for creating this thirst for violence and pain. An ape heavily alludes to Darwinism, showing this is the violence of an unevolved man. It is instinctive and natural. So this shows this violence and anger resides in its all and he is nothing special. Therefore, there is no mystery to hide if we choose to understand him and choose to look at the science behind him and choose to look at the society's impact in creating him. Then I'd look at this, the mystery of duality and I've got this symbolic quote here, Red Bays, for that. So we cover our true selves and keep it a mystery to others just as Jekyll covers up his rotten core with a thin temporary facade. Now this quote here is from Jekyll and Hyde's laboratory which reflects Jekyll's experience with Hyde and the mystery, mystery of his life. So Bay is a cheap, thin material used to cover things up that are old and ugly. This reflects how Jekyll covers up his rotten core with something that looks nice, but is fake and keeps it a mystery to everybody else. But Bayes doesn't last long, and it looks even worse, which reflects the inevitability of Jekyll's facade going and his mystery being exposed. Now this reflects the pressure of Victorian society to have a publicly approved reputation image and withhold their true identity. And the adjective red here connotes a danger of the mystery, it is dangerous for Jekyll to keep and indulge his dual persona. This also connotes a love for the mystery. Jekyll enjoys having this dual free side that he can indulge. But it also connotes warning. So this is a warning to society the dangers of duality and of not understanding the mysteries kept from us. All in all, this whole quote shows the symmetry between duality and mystery. And so long as there is duality, there is going to be a mystery. And duality seems to be an intrinsic part of our life, as I've explored in another video. Then I end my essay looking at this quote here, the chocolate coloured power lowered over heaven, because I feel this captures the mystery of our society as a whole. So the weather here is reflective of the mystery of our dual society. Our society is a fusion of safe limits and pleasurable freedom, which is mysterious to us because that is not what we would expect or define our society to be. 
Now we've got the noun heaven here, which is described the setting of the whole novel, which is London. We consider London a heaven because of the safe limits of our society. Whilst there is order, everything is in control. But the mystery is that this is dying, this is going, and we've got the fact there's a power over it, which is a flag over a coffin. So this symbolises how his order and control is now being killed off by High's instinctiveness and his rebellion against the limits of society. The rules are dying. But the true mystery is it seems we're okay with that because it's described as chocolate. Now chocolate is something that's highly desirable, which reflects Stevenson's message that we want these rules to go, we want these limits to go because we've all got this impulsive freedom that we are keeping locked and kept within ourselves that we want to set free. However, the same way chocolate is bad for us, that chocolate damages our bodies, this would also damage our society as a whole, so we're too afraid to do it. So therefore, Stevenson is showing the mystery of society is something we indulge and enjoy. We resent the order and control of our lives as well as have an inner hide that also wants this freedom to break free.